Hi, I'm Pete Delahorse with Crown Plastics Company and welcome to this edition of Make It Stick, the video series where we take our DuraSurf UHMW material and utilizing Crown's unique capability, we're able to get UHMW to stick to virtually any surface. Today what we're going to be talking about is lining a trough or a chute. All right, now typically one of the biggest challenges in lining chutes or troughs with UHMW is the fact that in many cases these are radiused. Now trying to get sheet to conform to this type of radius is very very difficult. But what we're going to do is we're going to show you today how you can use very easily utilize our DuraSurf ETA tape to line a radius chute. Now one of the things to consider with in dealing with some of these chutes in this particular instance we have a welded in liner we have welds at the seams and we have tack welds on the ends. All right. When you're doing the installation, you are going to want to stay away from these welds at the seam and we are going to have to grind these welds down, these tack welds down, in order to get a nice smooth surface or we're going to create a lift in there and it's going to be a potential catch point or a potential lift point. So the first order of business is going to be to smooth out these welds. All right, and what we're going to do is we're going to lay the UHMW into the trough and we're going to get it lined up to right where we want it. And again, we're going to stay away from the welds. And from here, we can go ahead and put some alignment points so we know exactly where the UHMW is to go. And what we're going to do is we're just going to take a razor knife and we're going to run a score in the liner right down the center. Okay. And what we're going to do at this point is we're going to peel off 50% of the liner. The next step will be to make sure that we get the edges lined up right along our lines. And we'll just put the, push down the edges as they become lined up. You don't want to go all the way down, but just, just work down the area where you had initial contact on the edge. At this point in time, we'll go ahead and we'll pull off the remainder of the liner. And the product will very easily conform to the radius of the chute. And again, one of the most important aspects is going to be rolling and providing mechanical pressure into the chute. It will also be very important to make sure you get the edges very good. Make sure you get good mechanical pressure along those edges. Now you may notice that we've oversized the part here a little bit. And the reason is, is it gives us a little something to hold on to. But at the same time, if you try to cut the piece exactly to fit, and sometimes there's a little bit of variability when you're doing the installation, you might end up a little short or a little bit long, and that may end up being a potential catch point. So we want to try to limit those as much as possible. So the whole idea is to oversize the part, and then with a razor knife, you can very easily come in and cut off this excess and clean it up, and your part will look fabulous. All right, now to sum up, uh, of course, you can see that what we used here was a concrete chute, but what we really wanted to do with this particular application was show how the UHMW, the DuraSurf ETA, is very conformable and can conform to any type of radius chute. Might be like an auger conveyor or any type of trough where product needs to flow very smoothly and very easily. Now, a couple of the takeaways that we want to have with this particular product especially bonding to a radius chute is number one, be sure to be careful of any welds that you might see into the application. We want to stay away from those. Also, be sure you oversize the product a little bit. By, the, by doing so, you'll make sure that the product uh, goes in completely and you don't have any catch points or potential voids in your product. Also, make sure that you get a good understanding of the environment that this particular product is going to be in. If it's going to be in something that's going to be outdoors, we're going to go with something black or something UV stable like a DuraSurf UV. 
if it's going to be seeing uh, regular washdowns, maybe in a food processing application, we're going to want to make sure we use an acrylic adhesive system. So the more we can learn about the application and where these shoots are going to be involved, the more we can make sure we prescribe the right product for your application. Now we would like to learn more about a variety of substrates that you would like to see us make it stick. If there are some challenging substrates that you would like to see featured in our series, feel free to contact us. Go to our website at www.crownplastics.com or send me an email at pete at crownplastics.com and we can show you how we can make it stick for you.